Hi everyone, Lagos Parfidis here from Sunny Cyprus and today's video tutorial is all about creating private folders for our students in a Microsoft Class Teams. Now you can see in my background here I've got a class team open and I'm actually in the file section in the general channel. Now if we have a look here I've got the class materials here I've got student one folder and the student two folder. Now we all know that the, the class materials is all about basically us teachers putting resources and making those resources available to the students and the students can only view those files in there they can't edit they can't delete this other area outside of class materials of course is accessible by absolutely everybody and students can create their own folders and they can uh, add and edit files and folders but they can also delete and edit files and folders from other students so this tutorial is really about creating folders for each student like i've got here student one and student two and those folders only being accessible for read and write access and viewing access only by the teacher and by the individual student. So, essentially, what you've now got are private folders with each student, which the teacher has access to all of the folders, but the students only have access to their own folder. So let's get started on how we do this. The first part is to create the folders with the student names in this section here. Now you can do this manually, or what I do, I just get the students to go in the file section and say, right, create a new folder with your name in the class teams in the file section. And that way, most of the work is really done for me. I don't have to create those folders. The next step of this process is essentially modifying the permissions. So I've got three screens here, so we can actually see from the point of view of the teacher and students. So this here you can see is my class team here. You can see my uh, logo or my uh, picture at the top. And over here, I've now got a private window with a student account. You can see the icon here, the, the actually pink color with the S here, that's student one. And I've got Edge open here with another student account. And again, with a blue uh, profile picture there and an S. So essentially, student one has got access to both folders, student one and student two folders, and student two also has access, read and write access, let's say, to the student one and student two folder. So to prevent this, so we need to change the permissions. Now, to do this, I'm going to go now as a teacher in my Microsoft Teams, and here we are. I'm in the file section. I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot menu here now. I've got the dot 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 menu and open in SharePoint is actually in a little drop down list box because I've got my screen zoomed in. You may actually see the open in SharePoint directly up here. So clicking on open in SharePoint is going to open this uh, SharePoint site and we can see the folders for the students, student one folder and student two folder. I'm going to select the student one folder and on the right hand side, I can see manage access. So I'm gonna click on that and now I can see all the groups which have access to this folder. So the first two or first three here, we can see these are um, owner permissions and the owner is the person who created the class team, being you, the teacher. And here we've got access for visitors. Now that's read only, they can view. We want to remove that. So I'm gonna click on the arrow there, stop sharing, remove. And then this last one down here is teacher training members. Now teacher training is actually the name of the class team. So the members of this team, they've got edit rights, though they can read and write. So I'm gonna click on that and click stop sharing and remove. And that's going now to remove those permissions. Now, if we just have a look and see what that has done, if I go to um, student one, let's just click on the posts and then back to files. So it refreshes that screen, you can see that the student one folder has vanished. They don't have access to that. And neither does student two. So if I go to posts and then back to files to refresh, we can see that student one folder has gone because it's not being shared with anybody. So now I need to go back to my SharePoint folder, uh, screen and I'm going to click down here where it says advanced. And now I'm going to see the advanced properties. So I want to grant permissions. I want to give permissions to someone and I'm just click that there, invite people, and I'm just gonna type the email address or the name of the student. So stu1, there we go, student1, 
add that person. Now I'm going to leave this tick here. It says share everything in this folder, even items with unique permissions. So student one will have full access to this folder. Share. That's it. That folder is now being shared only with student one and of course you, the teacher. Let's see that happen. So go back to here. I'm going to go to posts and then back to files to quickly refresh. And look at that. The student one folder is back for student one, but for student two, click on posts and files again. And look at that. Student two doesn't even see that folder exists. So let's do the same for the student two folder just to make this a complete tutorial. I'm going to close that advanced section and essentially remove the tick of student one, go to student two, manage access. Now we're going to remove the permissions for members, stop sharing, remove, remove the permissions for visitors, stop sharing, remove, go to the advanced section. And now we're going to add the permissions for student two. So grant permissions, type STU2, there we go. STU2 has been added and I'm going to click on share. Okay, so now each student has got access to their unique folder. Let's just have a quick look. So here we go. If I do posts and then back to files, look at that. Student one has only got access to student one. Student two has only got access, let's just do a quick refresh, to student two. And me, the teacher, well, essentially I've got access to everybody. So this makes fantastic um, communication, collaboration with student, with the teacher, also allowing the students to share work with their teachers discreetly without feeling stigmatized that other students are going to see uh, the quality of their work or steal their work or delete it or modified and just alleviating, you know, the stress of the teacher having to trace and see who's modified someone's work. Also, it keeps the students in the team's environment. They don't have to leave teams to go to OneDrive and dra uh, drag their work up. Uh, into OneDrive. So everything can be done now directly in Teams. Fantastic little solution. Okay, so let's just see um, student one adding some files in here. So student one goes to their folder. We're going to go to new, create a Word document. I'm just going to call this stu one doc create. Okay, and there's a Word document. It's been created for us. I'm going to close that now. and We can actually see the folder there. It's actually called STU doc. And if STU2 goes into their folder, new, let's just do a spreadsheet here. We're just going to do STU2 um, spreadsheet and just click create. That's going to create an Excel document. And again, that's saved in their own personal folder. Now, remember, they can directly drag and drop files into their folder. So you can see here, while they're in the folder, they can actually just drag things in here or upload directly. Uh, as a teacher, I can see both. So if I open STU1 or student one's folder, there's the document. If I open student two's folder, I can see my spreadsheet, or well, the spreadsheet the student has shared with me. And I have read and write access to that as well. Okay, that's it. That's complete. Um, however, let's say, for example, you want to reset the settings. You've done something wrong. You're not too comfortable with what you've done, or you just want to put the, the permissions back to the way they were. Well, I'm just going to show you on one of the students. Um, what I'm going to do is from the teacher account, I'm going to go to SharePoint. I'm going to select the student folder, which I want to reset back to the, to the default settings. Click on Manage Access, go to Advanced directly, and now all I have to do is just click one button, Delete Unique Permissions. So I'm in Student 1 folder right now. If I do that, you can see here, this is being shared with the owners and Student 1 only. When I delete the unique permissions and click OK, you can see, right, there you go. We've actually got visitors and members being added. And if we go back and refresh this page, and we look at the permissions in the main uh, area of SharePoint. So if I click on student one, you can see now the owners, the visitors and the members permissions have been added. So if I now go into the student two account, I should be able to see student one folder. There it is. And student two can modify, add, edit and delete folders or even delete that whole folder from there. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you find this feature useful. And if you do, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, 
I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.